We all worry from time to time, and this is quite normal. But if we let these worries get out of hand, we can cause ourselves lots of other issues. Worrying is not just something we do in our minds, but this is something that our bodies do on many different levels. It's so easy for our minds to push worries into our body and it can be done on such a deep level of the unconscious mind, we might not even be fully aware of it happening. But if this is happening, we might find that we get stomach ache, a headache, full tension, we have an increased blood pressure, elevated levels of cortisol, your neck can become very stiff, you can feel detached from yourself, your feelings or your world. Other ways our worries can get pushed within us is by turning these into other feelings. We can get reactive, frustrated, angry, agitated, sad, tearful, become aggressive, or even step into those habits of denial. Well, all of these things I've mentioned, you can start to see that we can turn into a bit of an emotional melting pot of these different responses and feelings if we're not careful. These are only some of the ways we can feel. There are many more ways our bodies can respond negatively to stress. So if you are feeling stressed and are having different physical feelings, then it might well be coming from the suppression of your worries. Because it is so complex and our mind so clever in working to protect us, it can cause us to not easily follow where the worries are moving to and to fully understand why we are feeling this way. Our minds don't like living with worries and I think for most of us we don't like being worried either. So if we don't deal with the worries, we need to be mindful of what can happen and where our minds will take us. With this being the case, we need to remember that whatever way we go, at some point we will have to face those worries and deal with whatever's causing us to worry. Knowing this, it would seem sensible to face the worries and find ways to get out of worrying so we don't push ourselves down those other routes. If we deal with the worries and not let them overwhelm us, then not only will we stop us from letting these feelings become more physical, we can also save that time of living in denial over these things. If we can just work to nip it in the bud, we can learn to cope better with the challenges of life and allow us to stay relaxed and living in the moment. Eventually, whatever path you take, you will always have to come to terms with things and accept and then let go of the worries. Why not choose to do it now? Save all that wasted time with worry and physical stress. Life is precious. Let's live for today. It's good to try and look at what these worries are and how you can change what is happening within your emotional responses and thought processes. It's good to put things down on paper and not to continue to think this through in your head. If you keep thinking and not change how you're trying to work things through on a level, and especially on an unconscious level, your mind can still see this as worrying. But changing how you work things through will cause your mind to start to deal with things in a different way. Doing the same thing will always bring the same results. It's time to find a new plan and direction into how you deal with these worries that have come into your life. After you've taken the time to write these things down, now look at the different possible solutions and ways to deal with things. Sometimes there's nothing we can do to change what is happening. And if this is the case, worrying just won't help you. 
worrying about things we can't change or alter is such a waste of time. It can't help and it will just make your mind and even your bodies feel the pain of this. Leave yourself notes to remind yourself of this and work to distract yourself from these old patterns of worry. We often only go down these routes of worry due to habit. If we work to change those habits, we can change how we cope with things and how we feel about things. If we've made that list and found we can change things, then now is the time to take action and do everything we can to help this situation. Once we've got to that point and done everything we can, then we need to accept this is all we can do and step away from the worry habits. Distraction is often the best way to get out of worry. If we're not thinking about it, then we're not worrying. We're not worrying, we won't feel anxious. If we're not anxious, our minds and bodies will feel safe and we will cope better with things. Take time to put pen to paper and do what you can. Then take the time to get out of those habits of worry. The more you deal with life in this new way, the better you will feel and the calmer life will be for you. Make this year a calm year where you can change the things you can and just let go of the things that you can't.